So actually what I decided to do for this video, make a mount for this. Now this is the deer I shot last year, the first deer I've ever shot. I'm gonna try and make a mount for it. Uh, I got a couple of things I wanna try. I've seen people do videos where they use like a, like a plaster of Paris to fill it in and then they'll wrap the material around it. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it'll work, but it's, uh, it's worth a shot, I guess. I've got this really nice piece here of oak that I want to put it on. I'm going to put the design on it and cut that out on the bandsaw. Can you see the drawing? Yeah. I may do some adjusting, adjustments. I don't know. and then we're gonna take them over to the disc sander. All right, let's, let's go uh, put it on the disc sander and get them nice and pretty and I'll probably run the, uh, the plaque through the oscillating spindle sander. Get it all cleaned up and pretty. Beautiful. Now we'll, I guess we'll uh, run the uh, run it through the router and get that all shaved and purdy. Okay, time to vacuum that up. That's horrid. actually turned out pretty cool I like that I'm gonna drill the holes in this to mount it so wish me luck here we go almost ready to mount it now I actually need to put a uh, counter sink in there so let's get that done real quick then I think I'm gonna be done for the night finish this off tomorrow counter sunk holes ready to go It turned out pretty cool. So I got it mounted on there. I'm gonna uh, uh, grind the backs of that, uh, move those off real quick on the grinder here. Hold on. So I got it mounted on there. Um, I guess I'll try to maybe. Uh, match the circle a little better to the antlers so I'm gonna get done finish sanding this and then I'm gonna put the polycrylic on it and get it all nice and finished uh, and while this dries I'm going to finish off this piece here with the expanding foam hopefully So this is now uh, finished sanded. I got it nice and smooth. It feels pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and do the polycrylic now. So right now, all I have to put on the polycrylic with is paper towels. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm put this on, let it sit for two hours, come down, do any like sanding, and then uh, 
put another coat on it and we're just gonna keep doing that until I like how it looks. Second layer on, let that dry, and we'll do another layer later. This out of the way here, let it dry off some, and then this is our next step here. I'm going to try and use this to fill that in some, so let's see how that goes. I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and sand it out. So this stuff expanded quite a bit now. I'm going to trim it off and then try and get some sanding done on it and shape it a little better. So I'm getting the shape a little rounded out, rounded out here. I'm trying to cut along this little base here, this wood. And then I will start uh, shaping out the rest of it but i mean it's already looking better than it was cut off quite a bit of foam i love this foam though this stuff's pretty good all right let's keep going and now i think i'm just gonna take a uh, file and try and sand this down some be a lot easier with a rasp but I don't have one so I actually really like how that turned out that turned out way better than I expected honestly I guess the next reasonable step is going to be whoops to wrap it in this faux leather here so I guess I'm gonna get started on that next All right, this is going to be the difficult part, trying to fit this onto here. I say I'm going to get my stool real quick. Oh. So that big old uh, tote noise was actually my hunting clothes. I'm getting them ready. Got them out and getting ready to wash them all. All right, so now we got to fit this on here. Now the only step remaining is trying to find a uh, staple gun in my house. So I'm going to go look for that. And I'll be right back and then we'll start stapling this together. I actually had to go buy a staple gun. I just ran to Walmart and got one. But it's turning out pretty good, I think. About to put the leather on it now. So let me get this staple gun opened up and we'll start putting it together. So I started putting on the upholstery nails. It's looking kind of cool. Let's keep going. So I got all the uh, the upholstery nails in. I want to see how it looks on the plaque real quick. Oh, that'll look cool. I guess that's it for now. I gotta let the rest of this dry. So I'm just about to put the fourth layer of uh, polycrylic on this. I'm gonna sand it down with, what is this? 320 real quick, get a, get a smooth coat, and then I'm gonna put the fourth layer on it. I don't know if that's gonna be the last one, but I do believe it's gonna be the last one tonight since it's almost 11 o'clock. So if I'm still up later, I'll come down and put another coat, and then the fifth one will probably be the last one.
I love the way this looks. It turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I was worried I'd get the angles all wrong, but it actually looks really good to the naked eye. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.